Hey guys, it's now time for my review of Klonoa. The reason this took forever to get up is because my computer pretty much broke, so... Right now my computer is still broken, but by the time you guys are seeing this, my computer will hopefully be working again. And you'll be watching this review of Klonoa. Oh yeah, and about this whole, um, uh... Yeah, and what was I about to say? Oh yeah, about the whole shading thing. I cannot get it off of my camera. I don't know what I do. I just cannot turn off that stupid shading effect. I've turned everything off. I've made everything manual. There's no reason why it should still be doing that. But it is, and until I find a way to fix it, we're just going to have to live with it, guys. Not a very good start to my new camera, eh? So this is Klonoa. Planoa, I'm just going to say now, is fantastic. Now this was a rather interesting game when it came out. Because there were two, there was a Klonoa game on the PlayStation 1, a Klonoa game on the PlayStation 2, a Klonoa, and two Klonoa games on the Game Boy Advance. But it, Klonoa, it's not a very big franchise, this would be its fifth game, but probably before this you've never really heard of it, have you? And why do I keep on getting it? So pretty much, this is Klonoa. This is actually a remake of the first Klonoa that was on the PlayStation 2. And you can see, this isn't your typical platformer. It's got that sort of 3D in a 2D world feel. And as, you, and as I just did back there, there was this egg in the background, and you can throw guys forward and backwards. But that goes with the whole control the scheme. You can play it with the Wiimote on its side, which is what I'm doing, and the two buttons jump, and the one button shoots out this little thing. You use it to pick up an enemy, you can either throw it at an another enemy, or I'll show you another one right here. Uh, here looks like a good time. Or, you can, when you're in the air, you can press 2 again, and he'll jump on the enemy's head to get to higher places. Now, don't think, now this is a very simple, simple system to work with, but believe me, this game can have some pretty hardcore platforming parts. So yeah, pretty much that's all the game is. Oh, I forgot to mention, when you're jumping, you can hold down the tube button and float for in, in the air for a bit. And this is a really weird on-rail part where you can speed up and slow down your falling. So this is Klonoa, and you have to press up to go into the background here. Now this is one of the in-game cutscenes we're about to reach right here. I'm not really going to bother because... Well, the voice acting is really good. You have a choice between their sort of them sort of speaking in their own voices, like uh how would I try and think of another game to explain it? Um I can't think of one right now, but I know there are other ones. Oh, and those clocks right there are our checkpoints, but as I was saying. So you have a choice to the, each character can either stalk talk in their like own worldly language or they can speak in full English in this one. So yeah. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Um, no, I don't think it is. So pretty much, this is... So it's a very basic game, but extremely fun. Now, you may be noticing, this game does look like it's rather easy. And I have to agree with you. It never really gets hard, but... It's that type of game that doesn't need to get hard. And I don't even know if I'm... And again, I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. This is kind of dumb. I've beaten the entire game now. And, I gotta admit... It does... Oh! Okay, that was the wrong way. I just beat the first level. Okay? That was pretty fast. But I've beaten the entire game, and... It... The main game never really gets very hard. But it gets fun. Really fun. So this is the map overworld sort of level select thing. Each... There are six divisions in the game, and each division has two parts. So there's Vision 1, 2, Vision 2, 1, and Vision 2, 2, and all that. And then... There are lots of extras in the game, which I'll just show off now. Okay, so... No, I'm not going to show off the extras now. God, what am I doing? Yeah, it's kind of confusing to find where you are. But pretty much, yeah, I'm, I'm now up at the top there, you can see me. And pretty much you're probably wondering, what are all these guys standing below the stages? And each stage has six things you need to find to collect the guys and save them. And if you collect all the six guys on each stage... Then, after you beat the final vision, which is the stage I'm standing on now, 
you go to a stage you can't see because it's at the very bottom and it's shading it out there for some idiotic reason called the extra vision now this is where the game can get really hard I'm just gonna show off a tiny bit of the extra vision because it can be pretty tense platforming right here another cutscene and as you can see at the top there it says my best time and my best time is 21 minutes that's how hard this extra vision thing is and these things are extra lives by the way so I'm just gonna show this cuz you really need to pay attention during this so there throughout the entire game you do this a lot where you need to jump off one thing to get to another area and yeah you need to grab onto one they really abuse it here in the extra vision and if you excuse me my mom's opening up the door right now and that was me dying because I forgot I didn't grab onto that guy so yeah my mom just opened up the door and now it's not shading on anything what the heck I don't know this camera this this camera it's just ouch yeah I'm not gonna do this I went through hell doing this the first time it gets absolutely insane during that the six pieces you need to find to unlock that are actually pretty easy now also below the levels you see this little green crystal I'm not sure what it is but I think if you collect over a hundred crystals in that level you get the little green crystal below it I don't know honestly I I don't know if it unlocks anything I still haven't done it with 6-2 in the extra vision yet but I have done it with every other level then after you beat the game this is one of the extremely high points you get a whole lot of extras so I'll enter extra I'll enter one of the extras right here this is your costumes so yeah she'll say that now I'm not actually wearing the normal one right now I'm wearing the zipper shirt and his norm and above it is the regular outfit I just sort of after you beat the game well after you beat the final vision you don't need to collect all the guys this is one of the extras you get where you can pick from four costumes to wear I think it's kinda cool but I'll show off the other extras now there's time attack yeah he has to say come on let's go before everything and this one allows you to do all the bosses in a time trial thing I've never bothered to do it because I think it's kinda stupid uh, the bosses they're not super hard in the game like the only hard part of them is trying to find out what you have to do but once you know how to once you know how to beat them they're pretty easy to beat okay then there's a movie viewer which I'm not gonna bother showing that off it's just a whole bunch of cutscenes uh, there's a music player which allows you to play music I thought it happened on this screen yeah it does see so you can just play any of the songs here the songs are all really good in this game really great music there's reverse mode which allows you to play any stage backwards I don't really see the point of it but it's a nice touch but my favorite extra is without a doubt the character viewer every single game should have a character viewer pretty much what this is is it lets you see the character model of every single character model in the game I mean so yeah this would be Klonoa in his normal outfit that's what Klonoa looked like in his normal outfit and this is what Klonoa looks like now now I know what you're thinking this isn't all that cool but I just think it's such a small feature and it's really awesome to get to see the actual character model for all these characters they should just have it in every single game this is Klonoa with a red collar and this game, this game as a whole, it's just... Now I'll warn you, this game is very short. You can beat in, I beat in two days. And this is like, this is still only my fourth day having it, and I've played through pretty much the entire game. I haven't gone 100%, but I've played through the entire game. So it re it's really not all that long, but it is worth having in your collection, because it's that type of game you're going to come back to time and time again. Playing it over and over and over again, just because it is so... God damn fun. I really cannot recommend Clinton enough. 
anybody looking for a hardcore platformer, trust me, it does, Extra Vision is insane. Don't don't deny it, but still, it's really fun to play. Can't recommend it enough. Amazing music, amazing graphics, amazing story. Everything about this game just says amazing. A must buy.